time for Friday Night Flights. Now, here's Sports Director Bruce Rader. It is the beginning and the end. The last week of the high school football regular season setting up next week's opening round of the playoffs. Tomorrow, 32 teams from Grafton to Smithfield with plenty in between will begin the journey for what they hope will be one of four state championships. But first, we wrap things up tonight with the season finale of Friday Night Flights. Hi, everybody. I'm Bruce Rader. We have two teams from our area looking to win back-to-back -back state championships. Ocean Lakes, the 10th ranked team in the nation this week, is the defending six champions from Virginia and Lake Taylor, the defending division four state champions tonight. Unbeaten Ocean Lakes at home for senior night, looking to win its 41st straight Beach District game. And what a night for the senior quarterback, Cody Cunningham, what a high school career for Cody as he puts Ocean Lakes here on the board right away with a touchdown pass to Jermaine Trotman. Now, give it to Lansdowne. They would give it its best. Quarterback Bryce Stukes scrambling for his life, and then he's going to make it happen with a great throw to Noah Boone setting up a touchdown for the Eagles. But Ocean Lakes with too many weapons, the lateral to Jermaine Trotman, who puts up his own beautiful throw to a wide open future Florida State player, Levanta Taylor, and then sophomore quarterback Tyler DeSue. He's going to be running the Ocean Lakes offense the next two years. Look at him go up the middle as Ocean Lakes, the top seed in Division Six, now looking to repeat as state champions. We'll see. Same goes for undefeated Lake Taylor, the reigning 4A state champions. Home against Norcom, the Lake Taylor defense is superb. Norcom's Trayvon Sneed back to pass, picked off by Dasman Palmer to end the drive there. And then the Titans defense getting to Sneed, the Rashawn Griffin dropping back more Lake Taylor defense. How about another interception? This time it's Jenkinson Wacky in the end zone to keep Norcom off the scoreboard. The Titans offense putting up 40 points tonight. Dasman Palmer takes it in for Lake Taylor, the top seed in 4A South. Also looking to repeat as state champions a shutout 40 to nothing tonight. Unbeaten Hampton, the top seed in 5A, hosting the Churchland Truckers. Hampton in black, future Hokie. Jovan Quillen, he pitches it to Demetrius Strickland, who sweeps around the corner, and Mike Smith dreaming of another state championship. The Crabbers, hey, they've got a tough defense, too. Churchland trying to pass. Look at that big lineman, Tarek Coleman, coming up with the pick. Hey, that's every lineman's dream come true. Hampton can beat you in so many ways. Trey Quan Qu Smith right up the gut, straight into the end zone, and Hampton heads to the playoffs undefeated and joining us tonight on Friday Night Flights Wavy Weekend anchor Deanna LeBlanc. Hello thanks so much for having me it was a really nice night out there Bruce November night closing out the regular season and one of the featured games two playoff teams meeting in Chesapeake Chad Grassfield at Oscar Smith. Oscar Smith undefeated and with a win over the Grizzlies Smith would be the top seed of the 6A South but Grassfield all fired up held a 10 to 7 lead at halftime but then in the third quarter Oscar Smith Sean Mitchell to Josh Gray and Oscar Smith in blue has his first lead of the night 14 to 10. Hey there's Marty Asprey the Grassfield coach come on guys but this is the last thing you wanted to see fourth down incomplete and star receiver Grant Holloway is not getting up tended to by the trainers. He's one of the nation's top recruits, but he walks to the sidelines under his own power, but he didn't return. We don't know what happened. Very next play, Mitchell, 61 yards to Larry Chapel. Touchdown Tigers. They lead it 21 to 10, but Grassfield isn't finished. Justice Biggie finding Jalen Foskey. This is incredible. The ball's tipped and caught and then ripped away by Larry Chapel. He is everywhere tonight. Tigers again take advantage of the turnover. Another touchdown to seal the deal as the Tigers go on to win it 28 to 13 to take the top seed and home field advantage in Division Six ahead of Ocean Lakes headed 
into the playoffs. Yeah, and since it was the last game of the regular season, Oscar Smith spent some time tonight to recognize the two guys you saw high-fiving. They are childhood best friends, former Oscar Smith football players from class of 82, and now they dedicate their free time to maintaining the practice field and the game field. They tell me they put in about 12 hours every week from preseason to playoffs. They take care of all the grounds, even paint the lines. When I asked them why they do it, they said Tiger pride. Scott and I played back in 79, 80, and 81, and my father used to take care of the field over at the old school. So this is kind of a, like a, you know, it's like a genera generational thing. Quite frankly, I do it for therapy. <laughs> therapy. I'm out here in the weekends, and it's just out in the weather, and it's just beautiful. So it's just a labor of love. And both their kids went to Oscar Smith as well. Terry's son now helps him on the paint crew, and Scott's son was the kicker on the team. He graduated this past year. I love that story. Hey, how about Indian River? The two seed in the 5A South heading into its game tonight against Western Branch. But it was Western Branch and White that owned the first half. Jacob Wilson finds the junior. Karan Claggett in the corner, and the Bruins have a 7-0 lead, and they were just getting started. How about Wilson again? I thought the Bruins were a running team. Nate Lewis has the catch. He's tackled, but his knee never hits the ground. Look at that. It's a Western Branch touchdown, and it's 14 to nothing. Upset in the making. Look at him give the brains chop. Hey, the defense held Indian River to just 15 plays in the first half. Look at Tyree Givers Wilson. It's tipped and intercepted by Armin Jones. But where was that running game? Oh, here it is. Keith Bryan right up the middle to give Wester Branch a 21 to nothing lead. They led 21 to eight at halftime and go on to pull off the upset over Indian River, 35 to 14. Oh my! Hickory ends its season with a 31 to 20 win over Great Bridge. How about Nansman River? The Warriors are for real. They beat Lakeland 52 to seven. And it was Deep Creek that rallied for the upset win over Kings Fork, 16 to 12. Hey, let's go back to the beach. Salem began the night as the three seed in 5A, needing a win, and that Indian River loss to move up to number two. The Sun Devils closing out the season against First Colonial. Salem's Jamar Hudson, who has a heck of a run against the First Colonial defense. And then next up, a first colonial punt to Malik Butts, who loses it in the lights. But wait a minute, he makes up for it, running like a wild man to make up for his mistake. Salem coach Robert Jackson ready to take on Hampton and Indian River in the playoffs as Salem shuts out FC 34 to nothing and moves up to the number two seed behind Hampton in Division 5. Staying at the beach, Cox guaranteed a spot in the Division Six playoffs. Wrapping up its season at Kempsville, Cox on defense. And Jake Herslow says hello to Friday Night Flights. Big hit there. Falcons back on D. Ashton Smith with the shoestring interception, taking it deep into the Chiefs territory. Cox led 35 to nothing at halftime. And while Kempsville avoids the shutout on the Anthony Resick score, it's playoff bound Cox that wins it. 35 to 6. And here are the rest of the beach finals. Bayside shuts out Princess Anne Kellum 38 to 22 over Green Run. And still to come, a wild showdown in Newport News between Woodside and Kickatan with playoff implications on the line. And Chopper 10 heads to Packer Country for Smithfield's game against Grafton. We're the Smithfield Cheerleaders. Don't go away. Bruce and Deanna will be right back with more Friday Night Flights. Fabulous Smithfield High School Marching Band under the direction of Joel Joyner. They are the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. You can watch their entire performance on wavy.com. We also have a slideshow, top 10 plays of the week, bands of the week from throughout this season, archived episodes of Friday Night Flights. It's all on wavy.com. And speaking of Smithfield, the Packers closing out the regular season at home against Grafton. Yeah, both teams have qualified for the 4A East Regional Playoffs and in all likelihood will meet again next week in the opening round of postseason. And tonight, Grafton would take the first meeting. Here, the Grafton defense sacks. Watch this quarterback, Smithfield quarterback Nicholas Turner. 
forcing a punt on Grafton's next possession. Quarterback David Dobbins runs it in for the score, and Grafton would go on to win 58-33. to Now, one of the best things about Smithfield football is their concession stand. The line mm. is always wrapped around the corner. It was so busy inside, I thought. They told me it was a slow night. Now, take a look. They make this concoction. Let's see if we can get a picture of it. There it is. It's one of their top-selling foods. They call it Packer Fries. Which are hand-cut fries that have barbecue from Smithfield and cheese all over them. And what make, are these what makes famous here? Yes, Packer Fries. We sing and dance when you order <laughs> Can you do that for me? Uh, hey, we got a Packer Fries! And the money raised from selling all those snacks goes to all Smithfield sports teams, not just football. Last year, they raised $27,000. Wow, you should have brought some back with you, <laughs> or maybe not. Wild won a Newport News between Kikatan and Woodside. Woodside is in the playoffs in 6A. Kikatan still uh, hoping to stay alive. Kikatan and White gives the ball to J.C. on Fugate up the middle for the touchdown, and the Kikatan comeback is on. Now the Warriors get an onside kick. They keep it deep inside Woodside territory. Desmond Savage has a touchdown to Caleb Tucker, but Woodside doesn't give up easy. Coming back with a huge run from Tashawn Lassiter. Woodside holds off Kikitan 38 to 36, but good news. Both of these teams are headed to the playoffs. All right, now let's go to one of the oldest high school football rivalries in the entire state. Now, these two rivals used to fill a Foreman field decades ago when they met each other in their annual Thanksgiving Day matchup. Senior night between Mari and Granby. Both squads coming in with four and five records and both teams with a shot at the playoffs. Granby and White, the Comets defense coming up big. Darielle Johnson with the play. He does it with a big old cast on his arm and then Mari punts it away to Granby. Darius Brown can't handle it, but check out his recovery. He turns a loss into a 44 yard gain. Now Granby may end up in the playoffs. We're still working on that after beating Mari. 14 to 3, and some more finals in Norfolk. Booker T. Washington High School shuts out the Wilson Presidents 7 to nothing, but Tosin over Tab 24 to 14. Love our high school bands here on Friday Night Flights. Once again, the Smithfield High School Marching Band, the Friday Night Flights Band of the Week. And you can catch their entire performance on wavy.com. And we want to thank all of our bands of the week this week. They did a fabulous job this season. Atlantic Shores, 53 to 19 over Portsmouth Christian. Atlantic Shores with the top seed headed into the playoffs. Bishop Sullivan wins its rivalry game against Norfolk Academy, 48 to 22. And Nanzaman Suffolk Academy with the victory over Hampton Roads Academy by 30. Parkview big winners over Windsor. Wow, it's hard to believe it all started back in August. These high school football teams and the cheerleaders I and the know. bands all out on the field, sweating it out, practicing for the season, and now the regular season ends. At a 74 degree Friday night. On a 74 degree <laughs> Friday night. But wait, we may have come to the end of Friday night flights. But we still have the playoffs. Deanna, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for and we will me. see you tomorrow on Sunday on Wavy News 10. And we've got playoff games ahead, so Friday Night Flights continues.